TV KPM Dede TV KPM Hey Sean, what are you doing? Hey Teacher Nina, I have a game for oh, you. A game? Yes, you have to guess what animal is this. Oh, I like playing game, guessing game. Okay, okay. you ready? Yes, I okay, am. Okay, here we go. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Ooh. Ah, those are wings, so that must be a bird. Uh, that's right, it's yeah, a bird. Correct. Okay, okay, second one for you, second, second one. one, second one. Mm. Oh, ooh. Definitely a duck. That's right. It's a duck. Yay. Okay, Ooh. I got the third one okay, for you. Third this one. is going to be a bit difficult. Ooh, okay. okay, here we Can't go. Wait. Ooh. Uh, mm. Well, it looks like a wolf. No, uh, it's a bunny. It's a rabbit. It's a rabbit. Wow. Yeah. Oh, but teacher Nina, mm -hmm. I noticed when I was playing this game, yeah. shadows don't really have any colors. It's just dark or just black. Why yes. is that so? Ah, because shadow is actually formed when light is obstructed by an object. So the oh. object here is your hand. Your hand is actually obstructing light. I see. Wow, ah. that sounds really interesting. Can I learn more? Of course, Sean. All right, let's go to the classroom. Let's go. <gasps> You are now watching Level 1 on Didi TV KPM together with me, Sean Steven, as your host. And for today, our lesson is DLP or Science DLP Year 2 together with, guess who it is, Teacher Nina! Hello, Sean. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi, Teacher Nina. How are you today? I'm fine. Alhamdulillah. All right. We also like to introduce our sign language interpreter of today, which is none other than Teacher Shazlin. Hi, Teacher. And how are you today? Wonderful! Okay, I hope everyone who's watching right now is also doing good. But before we continue, Teacher Nina, earlier we were talking about shadows and all this. So, what's that got to do with what we're going to learn today? Okay, today actually we are going to learn about light mm -hmm. and dark. Oh! Ah, so, it has everything to do with shadow, with light that we see. Mm -hmm. and for us to be able to see using our eyes. Wow, okay, sounds okay. interesting indeed. Shall we begin? All right, Sean. Okay, let's look at the sources of light. So we see light everywhere, every day. Mm -hmm. So where does this light come from? So we can categorize the sources of light in many ways, but we can categorize it like this, okay? The first one mm -hmm. is from the sun. Ah. Uh, the sun is the natural source of light. It yeah. can light up the whole world. Mm -hmm, that's okay. true. Yeah. Okay, the next one is mm -hmm. lamps. Uh -huh. Ah, lamps comes in many forms. It can be from the light bulb or um, the lamps in our home, in school, in the offices, mm -hmm. or also from the street lamp. Ah, ah at I night, see. We need to see the street, the road. So we also have the street lamps mm -hmm. and also lamps from the car or ah. any vehicle. Yes, that's uh, right. That is also a source of light. Mm -hmm. And then we also have torch light. Ah, yes, ah, like this one over yes. here. We have so many kinds mm -hmm. of torch light nowadays. Yeah. Um, okay. And the last one mm -hmm. is source of light from fire. Yes, <laughs> fire. Okay, fire. So fire also comes in many forms. When we light up a match, that's fire. Mm -hmm. And then uh, also a torch. Yep. Uh, where we light up a stick or a wooden stick or maybe a metal and we put in some um, kerosene on top mm -hmm. and there'll be fire. Oh, what about when my mom is cooking in the kitchen and then there's some 
something that she uses to heat up the food. Ah, yes. Is that also considered? That is also fire. Ah, yes. <laughs> But we must be very careful with fire, Sean. Mm. Okay. And we also have candles. When it is light up, it is also a source of light. Ah, yeah. And when in jungles, when we go camping in the jungle, uh, we will light up the campfire Ooh. to make us feel warm at night. Yeah. And we also have Um, the small tea light or fire uh, for Hari Raya mm -hmm. and also in uh, for Deepavali also yes. they will have that small light um, the, the small fire right mm -hmm. uh, okay that is also a source of light okay ah. all right Sean yes. I have one question for you yes okay let's say we are going to go into a cave oh that's scary sunlight cannot penetrate into the cave mm -hmm. so what Can we use to see inside the cave? Okay, based on what teacher Nina told me just now, we can use a different type of uh, source of light. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can bring a torchlight in yes. there. Yes. Or we can light up a candle. Mm. Or maybe even a lamp. Ah, yes. An oil lamp. Or mm -hmm. we can also wear the headlamp. Oh, yes, the that's right. The torchlight on the head. Yeah. Okay, Sean, I have a game for you right oh, now. Oh, okay. I love games. All right, so in front of us right now, yes. there is actually a dark box. Okay, Ooh. inside here mm -hmm. is actually a few questions that Sean cannot see first. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, this dark box has only one hole here. Okay. Okay, so inside here, mm -hmm. there are a few questions, but I'm gonna choose only one question. Okay. Sean, don't look. Okay, I will look. I don't look. look. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna show the question. Now. Okay. 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 I'm going to ask Sean this question. Okay. I'm gonna put it inside this box. Oh. I'm gonna close it up. Okay, Sean. Now. Can I look now? Yes, okay. you can. Now look through this hole, Sean. Okay. Look inside. Answer here. the riddle inside the dark box. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh, you can't see anything. I can't see anything. Open your eyes. My eyes are open. Eyes are Can open? you see anything? Because it's, oh. it's so dark. Okay, so we use our eyes to see, but actually we need something else for us to be able to see. Okay. That is light. Ah. Uh, so we need to put in light in that dark box. So here. Mm -hmm. We have actually another hole. Oh. Okay, Sean. Okay. You can turn on this torch. Okay. And light up and try and answer okay. the question, the riddle inside. Ah, ah now can I you can see? see. How many yellow balls can you see? I see one, two, three. Three yellow balls. That's right. Oh. Ah, okay. So Sean, mm -hmm. now can you understand that we use our eyes to see, mm -hmm. but we need light to be able to see. Ah, uh, so I that is why light is very important. Mm -hmm. Okay, kids at home, actually you can make your own dark box game. You can put in any riddles or questions, or you can play memory games. You can put in. A few uh, objects in here, yeah. and ask your friends to look like maybe 10 seconds, and mm -hmm. ask them to recite back what did they see in here. Ah. But the trick is first you don't let them use the light. Ah. So first they will not see anything, even though their eyes are wide open. Yes. So everyone will now understand that when we open our eyes, we will see, but without light. We will not be able to see. Ah, all right, all right, all right. So right now we're going to take a short break. I'm going okay. to turn on the lights in the bathroom so I can use it. And we're going to be back here right after this, after the commercials, only on Didit TV KPM. Don't go anywhere.
Oh, hi there. You're now watching Level 1 on Didi TV KPM. Our lesson for today is Science DLP Year 2 together with Teacher Nina. Okay, Teacher Nina, what does this gorilla got to do with our lesson or what are we actually learning for this segment? Okay, for this segment, we are actually going to see about shadows, how Ooh. shadows are formed. All right. Okay, for this, we need an act to do an activity and for that, we need a source of light. The easiest one would be a torchlight or you can use your phone, mm -hmm. the torch in your phone. And also we need a screen. You can make your own screen or you can use the wall or even your floor as a screen. It must be uh, brightly colored. Ah, okay. okay. So look at the screen right now. All right. I am pointing the torchlight to the screen and there's nothing there, just the light. Yes. But, okay, Sean, can mm -hmm. you move the Kong? Okay. Du -du 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 -du. Yeah. Ah. Now, can you see that black thing behind there? Okay. That is actually the shadow. Why is shadow formed? That is because this light from my torchlight is blocked by Kong. Ah. Kong is blocking my light. So that is why shadow, the shadow of Kong, is formed behind I on the see. screen. Ah, okay, that is why. Okay. So, that, that is how shadow is formed. Remember, is, it is because it is blocked by an object. All right. Okay, Sean, actually, mm -hmm. for shadows, we can see that there are different clarities okay. uh, for shadows that are formed. Mm -hmm. Okay, for that, uh, I have actually prepared a few objects here, I if you can see. Okay. These are the same, actually. It's a ah, tree. Okay. <laughs> These are trees mm -hmm. that are cut out from uh, different types of materials. Okay. Okay. We have thick paper. Mm -hmm. Okay, thick paper, the blue one here. This one is thick. Okay. And then I also have tracing paper. Tracing paper. Is this uh, this one? Yes. Okay. If you don't have tracing paper, you can also use your mom's baking paper or parchment paper, but uh -huh. ask for permission first, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then we have also Clear plastic. Clear plastic. And okay. also colored plastic. Colored ah, plastic. Okay, so now we are going to see mm -hmm. uh, the shadows formed by these objects from different materials. Okay. So I want you to observe carefully. Mm -hmm. Okay? Shall we start now? All right. Okay. All right, Kong, move a bit. <laughs> okay, let's start with the first one. Okay, shall okay. I? All right. Okay, so okay. let's place it ah, here. Okay. So can you see the shadow? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Observe carefully yep. and then put this one, the one made from tracing paper next to it. Next to it? Like this? Maybe I'll just put it a okay. bit here. Is there any difference of the clarity? I would say ah. um, that the one with the thick paper is, well, more clear. Yeah the shadow formed by the thick paper is clearer compared to the one made with tracing paper. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, now let's try with this clear plastic sheet. Clear plastic sheet. Shall I put it also next to? Yes. Okay, hold so on. we can Let me just compare two ah. and three. Ooh. Oh! Aha! Ah. Uh, is there any shadow actually? Okay, can you um, see? All I can see is the sh the, sh the shadow of the stick over <laughs> the here. The shadow of the stick. Yeah. Almost no shadow, but it's it is there, but it's very very faint. Yeah, we can just see the outlines here, yeah. but nothing much over ah, there. Ah, because uh, actually light can pass through uh, that clear plastic. Okay, mm -hmm. so it is not blocked fully. Uh, so the clear plastic does not block light. Fully. Okay. Uh, so that's why we only see very faint um, shadow. Okay. Okay. What about this colored oh, plastic sheet? Oh, we got one sheet. more over here. Colored okay. plastic sheet. Maybe ah. I will just adjust the, this one okay. over here. Ah. Maybe slightly closer. Okay. I'll try to I, fit everything yes. in. Uh, maybe you should put it next to the tracing paper so we can compare. Next to the tracing paper yep. this way. Okay. okay. Yes. Ah. Can you see? From okay. the thick paper, mm -hmm. tracing paper, and then uh, the shadow cast from the um, colored 
plastic sheet. Okay, so if I were to see overall, uh -huh. um, the one with the thick paper has the most clearest um, shadow. Shadow, yeah. Followed by the tracing paper and also the coloured plastic. They're also not too clear, mm -hmm. but you can still see shadow. As for the transparent paper or transparent plastic, um, it's very faint. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can see some shadow, but it's, there's almost no shadow formed. Yeah, yeah you can see the stick behind yes. it's like an X-ray. Ah, okay. So, Sean and mm -hmm. everyone at home, so now you have seen with your eyes and you should try this at home. The difference, the clarity between shadows made from different types of materials. Ah. Okay, Sean. Okay. okay. Let's try and answer mm -hmm. this. Uh, I have prepared for you. All right. Okay. So, let's look at the first one. Okay. The first one is thick paper. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Clarity of shadow made by the thick paper. I would say clear. Clear, are you sure? Yes. Let's look if Sean is right. Yeah. Yay, you are absolutely right, Sean. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, the shadow cast by the thick paper is mm -hmm. very, very clear. It's very dark. Okay. Okay, what about the shadow cast from the tracing paper? For tracing paper, okay, if I remember tracing paper, um, the shadow form is not so clear, so I would say less clear. Less clear. As compared to mm, the thick paper. Yes. Ah, ah, yes, you are right. It is less clear. Okay. The shadow, the clarity of shadow mm -hmm. uh, formed by the object made with tracing paper is less clear uh -huh. compared to the thick paper. Yes. Okay, so we also have the Colored plastic sheet, mm -hmm. which is quite the same, the clarity of the shadow, quite yep. the same with the tracing paper, mm -hmm. and also ah, clear plastic sheet. Clear plastic sheet, I would say, also less clear. There are some, or there is some shadow, but very, very vague, very, very, very faint. faint. Yeah, okay. So, how shall we put it? Yes, it is less clear. Ah, ah, okay. Right. So now I hope Sean and everyone understand mm -hmm. why actually uh, clarity of shadow is different between um, among these different materials. Yes. Because as we know that shadows are actually formed when objects are blocking the light. Yeah. So thick paper mm -hmm. blocked the light fully, 100% blocked. That yes. is why no light can pass through that thick paper and the shadow form will be very clear, very dark, mm -hmm. black shadow. Yes. Okay. The tracing paper, on the other hand, actually there is some light that can pass through it. Okay. okay. You want to try and... Okay. This is trace, tra tracing paper. Yep. Okay. When we um, put an object behind it, can you see? Okay. Put your hand behind okay. the tracing paper. Yep. You can actually see, right? You can uh -huh. see Sean's hand, right? Yeah. So this is... Um, why? Because light, a little bit of light can pass through mm -hmm. uh, this tracing paper compared to okay, this okay. thick, oops, this right. thick paper. Ah, okay. put your so hand behind. One? Ah, you cannot see. How many fingers oh. is Sean putting up? No, oh, we can't see. Can you see? Ah. You can see me hitting the paper, but you can't see anything. Mm. Can we go back to the tracing paper okay. just to show the difference? That's okay. Okay, so this one here. Ah, you can ah, this see. Is this is paper. not, so you not can very see. clear. You can see the shape of my hands. Uh -huh. You can't see my, the sh I mean, like if I'm wearing a ring or if, I, if there's any scars on my hand, you can't see that, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. Ah, all right. Ah, so <laughs> that is why the shadow form when we use tracing paper mm -hmm. is a um, little bit less clear compared to when we use a thick paper. That's right, ah, that's okay. right, that's right. Alright, Sean. Yes? Uh, we have many things uh, around us that can cast shadow. Yeah. Some of them are a little bit like the tracing paper. Some mm -hmm. of them are like the clear plastic. So, that is why sometimes we see uh, different shadows. The clarity of shadows are different between things. Yes. Ah, okay. So, I have something here. Ooh. An object. Okay, you can move the uh, trees there, Sean. Okay, I'll move them away. Okay. Let's see what we can see, the shadow. Okay. This box is actually transparent. Yes. Uh, but the object behind it 
is um, I think it can block light. We'll see about that. All right. And the tree and the um, cloud. We'll see what's going to happen. Oh. Okay, put it maybe behind a bit. Closer. Or maybe okay. I should elevate it just okay. a bit. All right. Let me see if this... Uh, yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. Is that clear? Yes. So, uh, even though the things, the objects are actually inside the box, mm -hmm. but we can still see it because light can pass through that transparent box. Yes. But there is, if you see carefully, the, uh, there is a shadow cast by the box, the transparent box. It's very mm -hmm. faint. Right? Yes, correct, correct. Ah. Even though, I mean, we can see through it, mm -hmm. but there is still some sort of a shadow that's formed, like what yes. you just said. But I also notice, even though the, uh, I would say the toy tractor or excavator uh -huh. is in front of the shape of a tree and also um, a cloud, somehow um, it just blocks everything. Meaning that uh, we are, the shadow here, we are, if we are looking at the shadow, we are mm -hmm. unable to see which is in front and which is behind. Just because is it because it, it just all blocks the light? Yeah, actually, Sean. Okay, so now I have a question for you. Okay. Are you ready? All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Look at the screen right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, we have three types of bottles right now okay. uh, in front of you. Mm -hmm. Metal, um, that is the glass bottle and also colored one. Okay. Which one of these bottles will cast a very clear shadow. Oh, can anyone at home try? What do you think mm -hmm. the answer is? Which one? Which hmm. one? Can I give it a try? Okay, yes, sure. Okay, I think it's the metal bottle that will cast the most clear uh, shadow. Yes, you are right, Sean. Yay. The metal bottle. All right. Okay. Hopefully, everyone at home has got the right answer or the same answer as I did because uh, that is obviously the correct answer. And right now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a short break. Back to you after this on Date TV KPM. Don't go anywhere. now watching level one on the TV KPM. Our lesson for today is Science DLP Year 2 together with teacher Nina. Hello, Sean. Yes. All right. Shall we continue? Okay. Now we are going to play a shadow play. So for that, we need to make our own paper puppets. Okay. okay. How to make the paper puppets? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's look at this video. All right. If you don't have thick paper, you can actually use uh, used boxes. Oh, that's ah, that's right. Okay. So for shadow play, it's a little bit different from what we did in the activity before this. Mm -hmm. This time, for shadow play, the light, the source of light needs to be behind the screen. Oh. It's like a puppet show. It's like we are watching television, mm -hmm. but it's live. Ah. ah okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So, Sean, yes. I think you can do your shadow play right now. Okay. You have your... Paper puppets? Okay, let me see whether okay. and can anyone guess this animal. Don't look at it yet. Ooh, let me just put it in quick. Okay, here we go. Oh ho. Mm. Oh ho, I am king, the king of the jungle. Rawr. Hey, but wait, <laughs> lions do not live in jungles. <laughs> Uh -huh. King of the animals. Yes. King of King the animal the kingdom, I guess. Ah. Rawr. Oh. That's how it sounds. That's, that's my animal sound. Rawr. Can anyone Rawr. guess what it is? Ah. What is it? Ah, it's a L I O N lion. Lion. Okay. Let's take it 
out here. All right. Okay, okay Sean. There we go. And like everyone, it. when you see mm -hmm. the shadow, we, we cannot see the um, details yeah. of that animal. We can only see the outlines. Yeah. Uh, so right. that is what shadow play is all about. All right. Okay, so let let's me move on to the, the next, next character. Animal. Yes, can you guess what it is? Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't That's make a lot of effort, John. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it okay, looks like a baby elephant, right? Yes, ah, it is. Okay. Look at that. Ah, okay. All right. And now okay. let's do the third one. The third oh, this one. is going to be a difficult one because I'm not sure how the sound is, but I think <laughs> from the shape, you're ah. able to guess. Squeak, squeak, squeak. I think that's how it sounds. <laughs> okay. I've never met the All right. this animal in, in okay. real life. I was like, Ooh, <laughs> I love this character. It's a bat. That's right. Yay. It's a bat. So for shadow plays, everyone, actually you can um, make your own uh, characters mm -hmm. and you can have your own storyline. For example, one day the lion calls his best friend the bat and the elephant. And you can make up your stories. And tell it to your friends and your family. Yeah. Ah, okay. Sean, mm -hmm. we have learned before the sources of light and yes. also the clarity of shadow. Mm -hmm. And also we have played with paper puppets for shadow play. Yes. Okay, I have a few questions for you. I hope you can answer Ooh. them very easy. Okay. Number one. Mm -hmm. Ah, this is kind of a logical question, but some pupils ask me about it. Okay. Fireflies, mm -hmm. they emit light. But are uh, fireflies a source of light? Oh, What do okay. you think? Actually, I, there's no right or wrong answer. I would say they are a source mm -hmm. of light because if it's in a dark jungle, for example, mm -hmm. you, can still, uh, you are still able to see it. So if there's light, then you are able to see. Yes, of course. But it is not a source of light for us to see everything else. We can only see, only see the light from the fireflies. So fireflies, we cannot actually switch on and switch off. It depends on the firefly itself. Okay, next question. Last question for you. Okay, ah, look point. at this object on the screen. Mm -hmm. Why does it have two shadows? Oh, maybe because the light is pointing from different directions? Uh, or maybe it's from the top? Hmm? Actually, what happens is there are two sources of light I see. Ah, blocked by that object so okay. maybe we have two uh, torch lights mm -hmm. uh, so and that's then, why we yeah. have two shadows wow okay. what an interesting lesson it has been but before we end maybe you can give us a very short summary of what we have learned today okay for light and dark we must really appreciate what god has given us to be able to see we need we use our eyes to see but we need light but sometimes we also need the darkness to be able to appreciate life. For example, when we want to see stars at night, we need it to be dark so that we can appreciate and ah, oh, lovely stars. And when we want to sleep also, we don't need more light. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's right. Thank you so much, Teacher Nina. But what about my overall performance for this ah. entire lesson? How well did I do? Okay, remember, Sean has... Um, told us when we go into a cave what shall we use to see inside the cave and also Sean has answered the question about the clarity of shadows mm -hmm. and also he has made his own puppet paper puppet for the shadow play and overall Sean deserves six stars! Six stars! Wow! Thank you so much! But what about the pupils at home? If let's say they want to get the materials from our lesson or any enhancement exercises, from where can they get okay, it? Okay, of course, they can go to the Delima portal. Alright, thank you so much once again, Teacher Nina. And of course, to Teacher Shazlin as our sign language interpreter. And thank you to all who is watching right now. Hopefully, it's been beneficial to all of you. And we'll see you in our next class. Till then, take care and bye! bye. Hi, I'm Isaac and welcome to my animal show. Can you guess how many animals and what they are? One, it's a tiger. Two, it's a crocodile. A gorilla. Four.
Wow, it's a moon. Bye-bye.